Yes, yes. Ano yes. sa yung meron? Uh, uh, updates and uh, tasking. Because uh, uh, we want to actively pursue still the route by which uh, Alice Go and Company left the country. Sir, meron po bang bago doon? Meron po bang pwede na kayo... Well, we might have to really send a mission to to Malaysia if they, it would not be revealed uh, online uh, or, or by Zoom, by video. Then we might send somebody there. Sir, may kausap na po tayo sa Malaysia? Meron, meron tayong kausap. Uh, ano, sir, yung pwede nyo i-reveal kahit kaunti? Hindi na, sa ano yan. Uh, we'll ano. Basta we're working on it. We we're actively working on this matter. Okay. Sir, bakit po kailangan pumunta na ng Malaysia talaga? Because we have to be able to check uh, all the possibilities. Sir, we have to... Sorry po, pumasok lang po yung audio. We have to check po all the... All the possible uh, flights that she may, uh, that she they may have taken towards uh, Kuala Lumpur. Because uh, it does not appear in any manifest. So we have to know how this was done. Because um, in many ways, it is a national security concern. Okay. Sir, um... Change topic guys, okay na ba? Change topic ako. Sige po. Sir, sa, sa, ano po? DP? Reaction na. Sige, ikaw muna. Okay, so yun yung ikaw po sa reaction na po sa mga announcement po ng DP sa alam ito. Ano na, nagpa-press ko na po siya. Very disturbing. For a person of her rank, second highest official of the land, the remarks are unbecoming, I think. And it does not, uh, Ogre well for the dignity of the office. So we have to treat the office as sacred I mean, in many ways. And uh, to, to speak that way is unbegoing. Well, uh, that's uh, very disturbing. If a person can think that way, and she holds a very high position, I think it's very disturbing. Not naman tayo, hindi natin gusto yung narinig natin. Hindi sa digabitin nun, sir. Ano yung sasabi niyo? Para kapapupay at tapon. Ano yan? Maraming kasing approaches dyan. Pero it desecrates the memory of a person. It desecrates the peaceful state that he must be in, having already perished and he disturbed the body. And there are many other moral principles that are being violated. And we're looking at the legal aspects also. We're conducting a study. Observer sabi, yung political loyalties daw should not prevail over good governance in connection with this event. Of course, of course. We just, basta ano to, it's a moral hazard to all of us to be listening to such remarks coming from a very high person in the government. Sir, Pogo, okay na guys, Pogo, lipat ako. Sir, sa ano po, yung mga Pogo workers, dapat nakapag-downgrade na po sila ng kanila po mga visa. Ano na po ba sir yung implications sa ito kapag hindi pa or kapag nahuli po sila? Well, we're automatically downgrading them already. And which means that they're not anymore allowed to conduct the activities except for winding down. Because winding down is very important since the business entails taking money from people into a wallet, an e-wallet that, that contains their betting, betting capital. It has to be returned to the owners. And that's about the most important part of the winding down. Because we don't want to be the ones blamed. If the people lose their money, uh, having had no opportunity to be, for the money to be returned, because the, the outfits were closed, uh, at least in the legal, in the legal progress. Sir, ano na po mangyayari kung ako po ay isang uh, dating Pogo worker or hindi ko po na downgrade yung visa ko, hindi po kumabot ng deadline? Well, you're not, allowed to, you're not allowed to work anymore. Uh, only in the winding down of the companies, pwede pa siguro. Doon lang pwede. Pero for to, to actively play a role in uh, getting bets or, or conducting the business, nobody is allowed to do that anymore. Probably the Filipinos who are there might be able to still do it, but the foreigners are supposed to wind down with them. So, anong mangyayari sa akin pag nahuli niyo ako? Well, you're, you're talking about, if it's Filipinos, it's not, there's no problem. It's the foreigners uh, who will have uh, a violation of our law and may be deported, uh, if that's the case. And uh, they may also be charged, depending on what is best for our country. 
Sir, are we looking at the possibility of widespread fugitive recovery operations by, by immigration? Uh, it can happen. It can happen. Because um, the numbers are not satisfactory as of now. And there are many people who have not uh, voluntarily downgraded their visas. This presents a dilemma to us because it shows that many of them really don't want to leave the country. Sir, well, they, will, they will turn into illegal aliens. Well, um, we, we can cope with it. I don't think that it's a problem coping with it. Uh, it's, it, can be, it can result in a humanitarian crisis if we do not handle it properly. But I think we've already considered all the possibilities when we started this uh, matter of uh, winding down the activities of the Pogos and closing them by December 31. Well, um, well um, that's because of which we get there. We will evaluate case to case. Okay? Uh, maybe more than 5,000. More than 5,000. They, they, they will be considered as illegal aliens after December 31. Sir, sir, what is the point that you considered the existence of national security? We're not looking at that. It's really the matter of uh, many of them, to be realistic, do not want to return to their place of origin, and many of them have nowhere to go. Uh, in terms of uh, their, their economic life, uh, that's, that's, I think it's just a realistic uh, assessment of the people who are there. Sir, ibang topic lang. House Squad Committee. Ah, pag-usap tayo House Squad Committee lang, sir. Ah, uh, nag-dote ito at nag-dote ito at nag-dote ito. Yes. Gaano kahalaga na siya mismo yung marap sa pag-dote? Well, uh, I'm just a bystander. I'm just a spectator. But of course, uh, it would help if uh, the former president will attend. Alam niya naman na mahalaga na manggaling sa kanya yung mga remarks and uh, responses to the questions. So yung committee rin pinag-aaralan nila na sa pangalang perjury, yung mga witnesses na eventually nag-re-retent mo kami ng mga testimony. Well, it can, example, it can happen. For example, Tony Espinosa, who also appeared. Well, um, the let them find the cases so that we can okay. evaluate them properly. So yung may update po dun sa surrogate matters? Uh, wala pa kaming update. But uh, we've, we've asked uh, some of our people to study, to be in charge of that issue. Ma, mga kasulan daw po sila, sir. I I have to get to the bottom of everything. And wala pa kaming complete information. Sir, so, tangential lang dun sa conviction ng 17 na Abu Sayyaf. Mm. Kasi there was a time na sabi ni uh, then secretary uh, then CHR Diliba chief na there was abuse daw ng powers ng yung the rate on the recruitment jury which resulted in the five the deaths of the five of the 21, original 21. Well, the, the human rights uh, uh, commission can find a case uh, with, uh, with the DOJ so that we will know what happened. Sir, quick reaction of what even you know, yeah, you crack down on private armed groups as and also. Yes. Real comment daw dapat buong bansa. Ano po yung ano yung dapat buong bansa? Ano yan? yan? Uh, yung known hotspots for for players uh, that's the term by the police is used. Or the, the first one's being uh, tackled now. But it's really the whole country where we intend, or at least uh, uh, both of us intend to, to stop the movement of people who may be involved in lawless violence. Okay, thank you.